Currently, at most U.S. commercial nuclear power plants, after spent nuclear fuel from the reactor is sufficiently cooled in the spent fuel pool, it's placed in large storage canisters, each of which can hold a few dozen assemblies. Once fully loaded, these canisters are removed from the pool, dried, welded closed, and placed in concrete overpacks to provide radiation shielding and protection pending removal of spent fuel from the site. These large canisters, however, present a challenge with respect to their ultimate disposition. To promote flexibility for disposal in a future geologic repository, a small triple-purpose canister is an option that is being studied. This small standardized transportation aging and disposal canister, or STAD canister, would be capable of holding four to nine spent fuel assemblies depending on the reactor type. To attain operational efficiencies, four STAD canisters would be placed inside a common transfer cask, as shown here. And once loaded with spent fuel, the canisters would be simultaneously welded closed. This video presents an overview of a testing program conducted to evaluate the ability to safely, effectively, and efficiently weld all four canisters closed simultaneously. The key components of the design concept for the small STAD canister are shown in this diagram. For the welding test program, stainless steel mock-ups of certain key components were fabricated, including the canister shell, shield plug, port covers, and top plate assembly for multiple canister test articles. When fully assembled, the small STAD canister has an external diameter of 29 inches and an external length of 196 inches. For testing, the overall length of the assembled canister was reduced to 31 inches, as the focus of the test was on the welding of the shield plug, port covers, and top plate assembly in the upper portion of the canister. It should also be noted that the internal basket, which holds the spent nuclear fuel, was excluded from the test articles. Also, for testing, the shield plug thickness was reduced from 9 inches to 2 inches, which still allowed the welds to be qualified in accordance with welding code requirements. The top plate assembly and vent and siphon port covers used for testing reflect the design concept. The design concept for the small STAD canisters involves spent nuclear fuel loading, drying, welding, storing, and transporting them in groups of four using a carrier. During the spent nuclear fuel loading, drying, and welding process, the carrier would be loaded in a transfer cask. For the welding testing program, a transfer cask and carrier mock-up was produced, which was intended to simulate the orientation of the canisters in the carrier and transfer cask, and the interface points and obstructions presented to the welding system. In addition, to accommodate the reduced length of the test canisters, the external length of the transfer cask mock-up was only 30 inches versus 204 inches for the full-length design concept. There are three types of closure welds required to be made on each small stad canister. The first closure weld is between the canister body and the shield plug. The second closure weld is between the shield plug and the vent and siphon port covers. The third closure weld is between the canister body and the top plate assembly.
ability to safely perform closure welds on all four canisters simultaneously was successfully demonstrated. Weld inspection results revealed all welds to be of high quality. The time to complete welding and weld inspections on all four canister test articles was as follows. The above times were obtained in a test environment using a prototype full-scale welding system and only focused on the welding and non-destructive examination portions of the overall process of dry storing spent nuclear fuel. They do not account for the time to perform radiation control and work control activities, which would be an integral part of operating the welding system in a nuclear power plant.